Hello and welcome everybody. Welcome to a new day and we are going to start with phrasal verbs as you can see on my screen. And uh, my name is Reshmi Mukherjee. In my channel you get ICC, ISC, English Literature and English Language Topics. Now uh, we are also aware that in the last uh, few classes we have practiced grammar because grammar portion is something which we have a lot of doubts as, as I have seen. And uh, people wish uh, more grammar, wish for more grammar videos rather than the literature content as I can see from the views and the likes also. See when you like uh, the, uh, the, uh, the video, you, when you um, uh, comment on it, I get to know that which topic you are interested in. So as I can see there is more likes and more comments in the grammar videos, more views also. This is your phrasal verb which is expected by all. So, uh, in this portion we will be doing, we will be discussing uh, some phrasal verbs and because we have been discussing every word with meaning uh, in detail in our exercises, this one is a kind of test for you. You need to see how far you are ready. So I will not tell you the meaning, I will only give you the answers. You check how far you are prepared. Okay. So this is suitable for 9, 10, 11, 12 all the classes because phrasal verbs is a topic which is suitable for all. Okay? Even in class 9s and 10s this has become very common. So uh, those who do not know uh, slotskill.com is my website you can check this you will get a lot of content completely free of cost over there. You can prepare for your exams even project work topics some of them are provided. So without any more ado let us start. Those who haven't uh, uh, purchased any book and interested you are interested in purchasing you can purchase the complete course book ICC English 1 and over here for class 9 and 10 you are going to get all the topics okay whichever is there in your syllabus ICC class 9 and 10 and the grammar portion is exactly the same for both the classes and so you can purchase in class 9 and use it for two consecutive years and uh, this is the phrasal verb part you will get it like this with the meaning and with the examples so you can utilize them this is of course a good book um, not just for the phrasal verb part but also for the others okay so let us start with the content it took me a while to get dash the flu flu is a disease so took me a while to get dash the flu matlab i uh, you know suffered for some period of time so it took me a while to get over the flu meaning to recover from that i am glad i get dash with my co-workers that means i i am glad that i can you know for, uh, you join the work for the first time and you see that you can co you can work cooperatively you can collaboratively work with them so it will be uh, it will be get along with my co-workers right let's get i'm sitting with a paper actually this is uh, one of my students uh, notebooks that i have uh, got over here it was mailed to me uh, not mail it was actually sent to me by by post so i am correcting it uh, in the process only let's get dash for the weekend to the beach so let's it is a kind of escape na so you escape after a long work after a long month work you decide to go for it for it's just like an escape for you so go away okay get away let's get away for the weekend to the beach done next we need to get dash the car and leave now we need to get inside the car of course so we will write we need to get in the car and leave please get a dash of the room we are closing for the day this is your hint closing na hum log band kar rahe abhi dukan to get out of course so it will be naturally get out i am determined to get dash this challenge project challenging project i am determined to get dash this challenging project this is a challenging project so i want to you know get through this i want to successfully achieve it successfully do it so it is going to be get through as simple as that next page you can share your question papers to slotskill.contact at gmail.com as you all know because uh, this is my uh, uh, official email address and you can share your question papers which we can discuss. Some of these questions actually have come in certain papers which I have collaboratively brought for you. What are you getting dash with your comments? What are you getting dash with your comments? Getting at with your comments. Okay. I can't get dash the top shelf. I can't reach it. Right? It's too high. So what is it? I can't get to. I can't reach. He always tries to get dash of doing the dishes. He always tries to get out of doing the dishes. Sometimes we say na ki, chalo, cooking to kar lete. For me it is like that. Cooking to I can somehow manage. But 
that washing utensils and all that stuff and you know doing the uh, uh, clothes if there is no aqua, uh, if there is no washing machine or something it becomes very troublesome for me let's get a dash with the project and finish it by the end of the week so let's get a dash with the project and finish it by the end of the week so let's get on with the project let's start it so that we can finish as long as we do not start how can we finish so let's get started with it so that is let's get on all right so this is what and uh, of course don't forget to check uh, stay connected in the telegram channel and the whatsapp channel so that you don't miss anything okay sometimes i provide practice series also over there you can get it next page we will have to get a dash with the old computer until we can afford a new one that means what till the time we can afford a new one we have to continue using the old one only isn't it so it is going to be we will have to get by with the old computer that means we have to continue using it we have no other option i don't have money now to purchase another one which is more you know uh, which is even costlier than this one which is purchased with 70000 rupees okay so get by we will get dash at the next bus stop of course we will get off okay o double f um, i get dash well with my neighbors i get dash well with my neighbors it is quite like the first page of our exercise today get along just like i get along with my co workers i get along with my neighbors i communicate i can communicate well with them and stuff in the city it is easier to get dash by public transportation so in the city you have a lot of connectivity so wherever you want to go whichever place it is going to be easier so we i can get around anywhere by public transportation because that is easy when you have when you are in a city where the connectivity is good so that is all for today i hope you like the session and you will of course uh, stay connected for the next session also which is again going to be on phrasal verbs and then we will again move back to our transformation series that we were doing it was a challenge for you that there is nobody who can correct all of them like full marks none of my students in the batch none of the students in the youtube were able to achieve it if you can achieve it it would be an extremely good thing and be assured that in uh, if you start if you start practicing that you will be able to and if you can solve 100% of it correctly you know that you will get full marks in your transformation that portion actually which portion we have been discussing over there okay so if you want to test that series and you haven't yet checked it you haven't participated yet you can go back to those two videos already two videos are uploaded again in the, it will be very short videos it's not that a very long one but be assured that these short videos will help you in understanding and preparing that how far you are prepared and then you can keep on preparing for yourself okay so that is it next class again we will start with another phrasal verb series and then we will move into that same challenge series okay Thank you so much. See you in my next class. Bye bye.